I had a publisher one time tell me, he said, you know why I like you, Jim? You write out of fear. <laughs> you know, and he's tr it's true. You know, I, I want to continue to do it, and I, I don't want to fail. I want to, I want to, you know, I, I work hard, you know. I think my work ethic has really been my saving grace. Uh, I'm very versatile as far as uh, the styles of music. I've had songs recorded in the bluegrass field and pop. I mean, Beyonce even, you know, had one of my songs. When new styles come in, rather than kind of freak out because, you know, oh gosh, that's different, I kind of like, oh cool, I want to learn what that's all about, you know? So I think all of that has kept me in the game, you know? I mean, the thing I had to learn with co-writing is, for instance, if they're, if they're on a roll, if they're hot, you know, and they're spouting out lines, shut up, you know, just, you gotta let it, let it roll and let, don't get in their way. And, uh, and you know, in the old days, you know, you kinda like wanna jump, jump in there with them, but if they're, rock, if they're rolling along, you know, some days it's me that's, I'm, on, I'm the hot hand. And the main thing is just to, uh, whoever you're writing with, respect that they, you know, they might bring something to the table that you wouldn't have thought of. It, when I'm working with young people, I've always kept that in mind. They may be 19 years old and may not have written songs as long as I have, but you know what, they may have something cool to say. And, and so uh, that's, that's the thing I've learned to, to you know, give them a chance. Uh, I don't even remember how I met Paul. Um, you know, Paul was like, you know, he was BMI Songwriter of the Year five years in a row. So however, I, I don't know how I wound up meeting him, but I did. We lived uh, about a mile of, uh, from each other when I first moved to town. And uh, somehow we hooked up and uh, we were riding and uh, he started telling a story. He said that his, he'd been out bush hogging out in his field, he's got a beautiful farm out. And uh, his tractor broke down. And he said, uh, you know, he had to go get a part for this tractor to the, you know, the John Deere place. And uh, he said his wife wanted to get out of the house and ride with him, you know, I, you know, they have six kids, so I, I get that. So anyway, so she gets in the car with him. He said, Jim, I don't know what happened to her. I don't know what was going on. She said, she scooted over next to me. She's kissing on my neck. He said, I almost ran off the road into the ditch. He said, I just don't know what got into her. And I said, well, she must have thought your tractor was sexy. So there's the story. Now, I'm sure he has a completely different version of that story, but that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Mm -hmm.